The best part of the movie is not the action sequences, even though they're amazing. For me, it's the dynamics between this duo, this new partnership between Ant-Man and the Wasp. Action! The way they are yin and yang, the way there is friction because they're so opposite, but that friction makes them, makes chemistry, and that chemistry makes for a very fun watch. And so when we start the film, uh, Hope and Scott are estranged. They did have a relationship, obviously. They ended the first Ant-Man film, Kissing in a Hallway, and Scott is very much in the doghouse. So um, the journey for them is to see if he can get out of it. I found this shoot much more difficult than the first film for a number of much more cerebral than physical reasons, which I think is not what people expect. I just found it really challenging to create a superhero, um, when I've never done that before, obviously, and to navigate my way through such an enormous production that has so many people involved in creating a character. It was a collaboration on every level. There was an incredible stunt team, there was a special effects team, there was the macro unit, there was the director, the producers, the writers, and myself all building this one character. You kind of get to watch it as an audience member would and be in the dark and be surprised and, and have um, delightful moments of um, unexpected, yeah, surprises. The first day that I met Michelle Pfeiffer, we were shooting um, a promo clip that was going to Comic-Con. She ends up in a scene and her and I sort of diss on the boys or diss on the guys in the, in the scene, which is Paul Rudd and Michael Pena, and then we walk off together. And as we walk off together, we're muttering a conversation amongst ourselves and she says to me, so you have to tell me, after, I don't know how many years ago it was that Batman Returns happened, but let's just say after you know a decade or so of um, advances in technology, are, do you have a, a, a way that you can go to the bathroom in your suit? And I was like, no, I still don't. She was like, oh my God, I can't believe they still haven't figured that out because she had to be sewn into her suit and she, she had to uh, be unsewn to go to the bathroom. So she basically couldn't drink all day. The only advance that we had since that time is that I could actually get in and out of my suit without being sewn into it, so I could in fact go to the bathroom, but they need to work on that. Marvel needs to figure out how to put pee holes into super suits.